While the decision today effectively erases the legislative rules behind Roe v. Wade, the legacy of the landmark decision, that's still very much present right here in North Texas. I recently visited the display holding hundreds of archives donated by Sarah Weddington, a trailblazing lawyer who successfully argued the case almost 50 years ago. Some of the things that you'll find are the opinions uh, following the uh, decision of Roe v. Wade. And so this is actually signed by seven of the Supreme Court justices. Pieces like these are just some of what you'll find at the Sarah Weddington collection display inside TWU's main library. Shortly after Roe v. Wade, Sarah did an interview with the Schlesinger Library, and this is a transcript of that interview. Kimberly Johnson is in charge of the work to archive all of Weddington's material, including photos from her youth. Weddington had arranged for all of this to be housed here before her death this past December. While much of Weddington's fame was successfully arguing Roe v. Wade, Johnson says this collection showcases the full body of her life's work, advocating for women's rights and the years when she served served as a visiting professor here at TWU. For women, there's a little bit of Sarah in all of us because we want to make things better. Dr. Daniel Phillips Cunningham directs the Multicultural Women's and Gender Studies here. When we first met her back in early May, we spoke about the leaked opinion from the Supreme Court at the time, and even then she anticipated Roe v. Wade would be done away with. Although this is a draft opinion and it hasn't taken into effect yet, I predict that it will. At that time, she said Roe v. Wade being overturned will also affect the value of judicial precedents moving forward. It throws everything out of whack and it really puts our democracy at stake. Many people talk about the importance of personal choice and personal freedom. That's thrown out of the window. It's a discussion that clearly will continue here at TWU with this display and exhibit in the backdrop. Filmmakers, documentarians, uh, students, uh, everybody has access to come and see what Sarah did. Well, of course, we're going to continue following the latest developments from this Supreme Court decision on air and online at CBSDFW.com.